Sup guys, He King here, bringing you a uh, news update on, uh, well, involving the remake of Dead Space 1. So yes, we're getting a remake for Dead Space 1 from what's the studio that brought you Star Wars Squadron, was it? Uh, let's just check that. I believe they were called Motive. Was it Motive? Well, we'll just, we'll see that in a second. But yeah. Apparently there was a stream uh, yesterday, apparently, no. There was a stream yesterday, yes. There's, there's a bunch of news that just come out about the game. And consider me excited. So yes, Motive Studios is doing the remake for Dead Space. And I gotta say, I'm looking forward to it. After hearing what they're doing with this game, I am much more hyped for this than I originally was when it was first announced. Obviously, the fan in me was kind of hoping that we would get a fourth installment. Instead, we're getting a remake of a very old game that still, for the most part, looks good. But, you know, upon reflection, there is a lot they can improve on it. And it seems that every little thing that I would have done myself if I'd been remaking the game is being considered and being done. So, first up, Gonna Rate is back. Yeah, am I saying his name right? Gonna Right? Is it Gonna Rate? Gonna Right? Man, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for that. Gonna Right is back as Isaac Clark. He did the voice for him in uh, games two and three. And I think maybe the grunt noises in the first one as well. You know, there's a few moments where if you're stamping on an enemy or hitting an enemy or shooting an enemy, I think he does swear a bit. I'm not too sure if they used him for the facial capture. I could be wrong there, but I think he's just the voice. But uh, they got him back. He is voicing or is going to voice Isaac in the remake. So yes, Isaac is not going to be a silent protagonist anymore. He is not going to be mute. He is going to talk. He is going to interact with characters. And he's going to react to situations that happen in front of him and around him. So that's good. We're going to have a bit of a character there. Instead of sort of us being that character now, we have a character to look at and see how they develop. Uh, number two, the story is going to focus more on him trying to find Nicole. Instead of that just sort of being an afterthought that comes and goes in like in the original game. Here it's going to be like a big focus. And that's cool to see. And then, of course, the third one is the G-Velocity. Uh, am I saying that right? The G-Gravity, the G-Velocity gameplay. Uh, in the original game, you get into these situations where you can fly around the room, but it's just sort of a case of point and click. And Isaac will jump and head towards that point in the, in the area. Whereas in 2 and 3, there was mobility and you could actually fly around. And going in a direction and explore and fight the enemies like that. They're adding that feature into the first game. So that's great. But yeah, that's the third change, of course. And then the fourth one is the fact that apparently they're adding this feature where you can peel or rip off an enemy flesh. I think that's going to be done to sort of expose weak points. So it's not just a case of cutting off limbs to kill enemies now. There's going to be this new feature where you're peeling off the skin, ripping off the skin, ripping off the flesh to try and beat the enemies that way, which is great. It's a new feature and it's going to make the game a ton more gory, of course. And then, of course, we have connections to the sequels. Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, Dead Space Extraction, uh, the comic books as well. And, of course, the novels, I believe. So I think, yeah, they're going to try and throw a whole bunch of Easter eggs and references to that wide verse of the universe. And, yeah, it's going to be curious to see what they do. Like, uh, how I am assuming there's going to be things in this remake that are going to basically be setting up elements that we see in Dead Space 2 and 3. And maybe other elements, maybe like the overseers, uh, the production of the markers. Maybe we'll even meet or see characters from future events in this game, possibly. I mean, in a way... I, mean, I, I, doubt, I, I doubt it though, I mean, it's not, like I say, this isn't technically a reimagining, this is a remake, this is a hardcore proper remake that is getting expanded on, not reimagined. The story and the, the overall story I'm assuming is going to be the same, they did say that Hammond and Kendra are still going to be at odds and you are looking for Nicole, so etc, etc, certain elements are for the most part going to be the same, but they're going to be expanded, which leads me to num point number four, which is the fact, oh, wait, I already said point number four, I meant point number five, which is the fact that uh, we are going to get new areas, expanded areas. So that's going to be cool to see. I believe that the original game had some deleted areas that we never got to see. So I'm, I'm hearing those are being added back into this remake. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of areas they do. And of course, number six being that the game is, it has no loading screens. Like it's, you start and you go. 
from, from beginning to end, which is kind of what Dead Space 2, I think, did uh, start it with. But to be fair, the first game was also seamless. Like, the only times there was, like, a loading screen, or at least uh, the illusion of a loading screen was when you get in the trams. So, I don't know. I mean, the first game was already seamless as it was, do you know I mean? So, it's a bit weird of them to say that. But overall, I'm liking what they're doing with this remake. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, which brings me to a topic to discuss about why I think this will be a much better remake than, say, the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes that we got. Resident Evil 2 and 3, I mean, it's hard to really talk about this, like, uh, to talk about the concept of what a remake is. I mean, uh, you, there have been so many remakes now that have come out, and it's hard to really digest what makes a remake, right? I mean, let's compare, right? Final Fantasy VII, for example. Okay, that is called a remake. It's called Final Fantasy VII Remake, but it's not technically a remake. It's both a remake, a reimagining, and a sequel all wrapped in one. That's what the game is. Um, so essentially, it's not the remake. It's just sort of the subtitle for it, but it's not technically a remake. It is. It, it has remade elements, but it's reimagined as well because it adds new things and it's technically sort of a sequel because there are certain elements in there that might be very different to what we get in the next future games coming out. But then you have the Resident Evil remakes. Resident Evil 1 from uh, 2002, it's, it's remake. That is a remake. That is the very definition of a remake. It takes the original base game and it keeps it the same, but it adds new things to it. Uh, the only changes really are in terms of maybe certain puzzles being changed and maybe certain story elements, or at least uh, when it came to Barry mostly, just sort of making it easier to keep him alive. For the most part, 99% of the game was the same. It just had newer areas, some new enemies with the crimson heads, uh, and some gameplay features added in, new puzzles... For the most part, that game was pretty accurate to the original. It just expanded on its lore, the addition of Lisa Trevor, etc., etc. That is a remake. That's what I would call a definite remake. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remakes are not remakes. Okay, those games are reimaginings. They take everything from the original games and they don't really remake it. The environments, like the RPD station, might be the same and expanded upon. But the general stories of 2 and 3 are vastly different. Uh, the, the swapping or zapping system for Mori 2 is gone. There is no interconnected storyline. There is no four proper campaigns or two proper story campaigns. You know, there is no true Leon A or uh, Claire B or Claire A and Leon B. It's, like I said, it doesn't interconnect properly at all. Some enemies are missing. Story beats are different, characters like uh, Ben and Ainz are completely different from what they were in the original game, while certain characters like Mar Marvin and Robert are sort of changed around or expanded upon. And then Resident Evil 3 Remake, obviously that was... That was just whatever. The gameplay and that is all cool, but that general feeling of what the original games were is not there. And yeah, I wouldn't classify those as remakes. From what I'm hearing about Dead Space, on the other hand, that seems to be what a remake should be. Taking the original game and making it better. Not changing it about making it better. Isaac Talks, check. We've got the uh, G uh, Velocity gameplay from 2 and 3 added in, check. New areas and challenges being added in, check. New ways to fight enemies, cool. And obviously a bit more expansion on the story. And added elements from the past uh, or previous or sequels, but technically, cool. That's a remake. It expands on the lore, it expands on the characters, it expands on the story. It doesn't go around changing it and cutting things. It's keeping things mostly the same, but updated. That is the definition of a remake, in my opinion. And that's why I think, you know, Dead Space 1 remake is going to be amazing. Compared to what Resident Evil 2 and 3 did. And, of course, that also brings me to the next part, which is, are there any hopes for remakes for Dead Space 2 and 3? Personally, I think if this remake, you know, is really received well and sells really well, we could potentially see a remaster of Dead Space 2 Extraction and Dead Space 3 being released. And then maybe, just maybe, hopefully, a Dead Space 4 being 
put into development and getting that like that's kind of what i hope to see i want to see a continuation of the story i want to see what happened at the end of uh, dead space freeze uh, dlc the awakening uh, i think it was called and seeing where that goes from that point on and seeing any other survivors of characters like isaac carter and uh, ellie return so i'm looking forward to that potentially but for now dead space remake looking forward to it looks awesome can wait tell me your thoughts guys tell me what you think do you think it's going to be better than the resident evil gate remakes that we've gotten recently or you know do you think it's going to be better than the original game but what are you interested in seeing uh it does any of this news excite you or are you disappointed and gonna rant and complain <laughs> like i am complaining about the uh, remakes for resident evil tell me your thoughts down below if you want guys and remember to like and subscribe I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.